Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cinecool, and this is EverQuest Project 1999. And we're on my deck, Dark Elf Necromancer. I almost said Decromancer or something. Dark Elf Necromancer, we are in Befallen. Befallen is a dungeon. Uh, dungeons are really dangerous in this game. There's things called trains. There's uh, only one... There's no instances. There's just one. So everybody's in here fighting for spots, you know? Um, it's a, a low-level dungeon. It's one of the first dungeons you would go to. Uh, but there are dangerous enemies in here, and there is good equipment you can get in here, and all, all that kind of stuff, you know? It's a dungeon. The further you get in, the more trapped in you are. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, Befallen, where is Befallen? Befallen is, um, so we started in Ariac, right, as a Dark Elf. Uh, the first zone after that is called Nectalus Forest. That's where you fight and get your early levels. Um, if you follow the path, cross the bridge, head out of that zone, you can go to Eastern Common Lands. That's the place I showed last time. Um, after Eastern Common Lands, if you take a right, you can head to Western Com Common Lands. Once you get to Western Common Lands, you can go to Befallen. It's a low-level dungeon. It's a little bit hidden on the side of the mountain. It's like behind a sand dune. You'll see the entrance. It's all lit up, and, um, uh, you know, it's like a lit up little tunnel. You go in there, and then you, you're inside. you got to pass a bunch of enemies to get to where I'm at. I guess not a bunch. I'm pretty, I'm not that far in. I'm actually at a pretty easy camp. I don't even know if this is a camp. I just went to the first door on the right, and I set my butt down in the corner, and I started killing everything in this area. And I had a lot of competition. A lot of people wanted to come in this door and pull from this area, but I wasn't having it. Um, I claimed this area for myself, everything past that door, and all of uh, these, I guess, two, three rooms. I guess two rooms and a hallway. And that's kind of what you do in this game. You, you kind of claim an area for yourself, and you sit there, and you wait for stuff to respawn, and you kill it over and over and over. And sometimes there'll be a, uh, you know, a named enemy that you can um, camp in that area. I don't think there is in this one, but um, I was just looking to get level 10. So I'm level 9, level 9 Dark Elf Necromancer. I was one bubble away from 10, so even though this this spot probably isn't the greatest, like, I think that necker there is green, but it still gives me experience. Even though this spot is not the greatest, uh, I was so close to 10, and I was, like, overweight, and there were a bunch of people in the zone. Um, I just, I got this little spot to myself. Um, I kind of fought it off, you know, fought people off. I kept coming in here. I just, I sat right on top of all the spawns, and I kept killing them as soon as they popped until people realized that this was my area. Don't come in that door. Because I'm killing everything in here. Please don't come in here. Everything was giving me experience. Uh, nothing was not. So I, I did have to wait around a little bit. You know, I could have... The best part... The best thing... If there was less people in the zone, I probably would have opened the door to the main hallway and grabbed some more uh, mobs from there. But since there was a lot of people in the zone, there were people camping the, the zone entrance. So they were killing everything in that main hallway. So to get a better idea of where I am, um, you come into the zone, you come into the dungeon, and there's the the first main like hallway, the first main area where the door everything branches off from there. So there's like uh, skulls on spikes and uh, um, you know just the entrance way. It's the entrance way of this zone. There's a, a little hall, and then there's four doors, two on each side, two on the right, two on the left, two brown. And the one you're looking at right there is one of them. That that wooden door right there is one of the four doors. It's to the right. It's the first door on the right. That's that door you're looking at right there. Um, so there's one further down on the right, and then there's one straight across. And then there's one caddy corner, uh, and that one goes really deep into the zone. So this first one on the right, I think, is the easiest door. Uh, the second one on the right, I think, is the second easiest, and then you uh, go from there. I think the one in the back left is like the one you go through to get to the deeper part of the zone, and then the one on the the first one on the left is locked, and you can't even get in there uh, unless you have a certain key. So I'm on the, in the easiest wing, if you will, and uh, like I said, I only needed like one bubble, and um, I was by myself, 
and the zone was packed. So if if it wasn't so packed, I'd be opening that door right there, going out into the main hall, and there's four spawns, I think. There's probably more than four, actually. There's four skeletons that spawn right outside that door, and I think they're all linked, which means if I pull one, they, they'll all come. Um... So uh, I would I would be grabbing those as well in in all this downtime that I'm having right now, which is fine. I like being on top of a camp. I don't want to be behind on a camp. So as you can see though, I did a backslash who, and right now there's only three people in the zone, but it would not it doesn't stay like that. Like the people must have there must have been a train or something, and like three or four people had to run out of the zone. Um, a train is when somebody can't handle something, so they run. They're trying to get to the exit and get the heck out of there because they're overwhelmed, and that kind of causes a panic in the whole zone. Like, you can literally affect other people's uh, gameplay, because they could be sitting at the front of the zone, uh, killing a couple um, plague rats and maybe the four skeletons in the main hall. And um, if you have a train, if you get overwhelmed and you have to make a run for the exit, everything that's on you is going to also attack them. So they have to also run for the exit. So people... Most of the time, we'll yell out to the whole zone, you know, train. That's what they call it, is a train. When you can't handle, you get overwhelmed, and then you can't handle it, and you have to run to the exit. It's called a train. And you'll have to, usually, if you have time, you'll yell out train, and everybody knows that means get the heck out of there if you're in the path. If you're on the railroad tracks, get the heck out of there. Uh, but as you can see right there, I would be pulling these if I could. Um, I was about to do it. I was just conning them, seeing what kind of, what I was dealing with here kind of wanted to know how many and how hard it would be so I was kind of taking a peek out here because I really wanted to grab those but see as you can see there's another person there and they're grabbing all of those out there so I if it, if, if this was an ideal situation uh, I would be grabbing those as well and probably everything out there but as it is right now I got my own little spot here's another plague rat I'll show you every one of the spawns over here in a minute uh, just wanted to get all that stuff out of the way. First of all, uh, I think in dungeons you actually get extra experience because they're more dangerous. Everything in here, um, I'm not sure if it, they all hit harder and have more HP or anything, but I know just to the fact that um, you're stuck in here and it's more dangerous because of trains and all that, that um, you get more experience, I'm pretty sure. For being inside of a dungeon. So being a necromancer. I have spells that work really well against undead. So this is one of the better places to go. As in level 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 necromancer. And even a paladin or a cleric as well. Uh, would do really well in here. Because they also have good spells against undead. Even shadow knights I think. So those four classes uh, usually try to come here. I forgot about this place until... Um, I think I was reading up about the Eastern Common Lands, because I wanted to do either Orc 1 or Orc 2, the camps out there, and maybe get in a group, and you guys would maybe be more exciting if I got in a group. So I've kind of been thinking about, like, how can I make this, uh, you know, more exciting? And um, it's hard for me, because uh, most of the time I'm going to be soloing in this game, and that's why I picked a Necromancer. It's like the best solo class, one of the best. I think, what, Necro, Druid... Uh, shaman, mage, enchanter, like those are the best, maybe bard, uh, but other than that, they're really, that's it, I'm pretty sure, those are the, those are the, the soloing classes, and necro is definitely a, uh, big time loner, soloer, like shaman, you could get in groups pretty easily, um, druid, everybody wants so, and teleports, um, and healing, um, Shaman's also a healer and a buffer, but as a necro or a mage or, a, yeah, pretty much as a necro, as a pet class, uh, people don't, they're probably, the, you're probably the last one they want in, in their group, just because the only thing you have to offer is your damage and your pet. Uh, sometimes, though, if you get in a certain group where they don't have a tank, your, your pet could be the tank of the group, so... But yeah, about this little spot here, I don't even know if it's a spot or not, I just claimed it. I wanted to explore this dungeon. I found myself a little wing of the dungeon to claim. Like I said, I had to fight it off. People kept coming in that, that door, the main door there. So I parked my pet right here. 
Uh, there's a, a putrid skeleton that spawns right there, right where I'm looking, where that bone is on the ground. Uh, he pretty much spawns right around there, maybe a little bit closer to the door. So I would park my pet right on that bone, that arm bone on the ground, and uh, he would um, attack that skeleton every time it popped. Uh, so I learned to keep him there because as, as I'm looking in the uh, other rooms, somebody could open that door, come in, grab my skeleton, and run away, and I wouldn't even know it. So I would park my pet there. That way, as soon as it pops, my pet starts attacking it, so nobody can grab it from me. And I, I could I could shout out to the zone, hey, I'm camping this uh, area over here. Please, uh, you know, don't pull from my area. But nobody was really claiming anything, and everybody was kind of the wild, wild west. And just, uh, you know, if you could hold it down, you held it down, and they realized it. A couple people opened the door. They just saw they saw me sitting there, and they just closed the door and ran away. A couple people opened the door and actually came in, looked around, tried to grab stuff, tried to steal some some uh, mobs, and they, I think one one time they got like one rat, and I I was like that is not happening happening again. So I made sure it did not happen again. I killed everything that popped, and I'm trying to figure out like how how many. There's see there's another. Like, I would be taking from their stuff. Like, right there, I probably stole that wimpy skeleton, but that was a really low level. I was trying to add to my camp because it was not... I don't think this is a very good camp for a level 9. It's a really safe one. I'm off the main... Like I said, I'm off the railroad track, so nothing... None of the trains are going to really affect me unless I sit close to that door. Um, I'm not, like, right at the entrance. I'm inside in a wing, so... I'm not, at least I'm not sitting right at the entrance either, but this is the easiest little wing of Befallen. There's four other areas I could go to, so definitely look forward to that. I'll probably be going to the back right door eventually. Um, I mean, in the next video, I probably will be, because I'm not going to show you guys the same thing over and over and over. Like, I could have showed you that wizard spire two or three times as I was sitting there camping it. I could have showed you that little halfling camp two or three times as I was sitting there camping it. But I only showed each of those once, and I'm probably only going to show this little wing of Befallen once. Um, I thought I showed each of these spawn points. I know I'm pretty close to leveling here. I thought I did. I only got a few minutes left of this video, and um, I thought I leveled. I thought I dinged in this video. I don't know. I hope I do. I don't think I didn't look like I was super close though when the last uh. Last time I checked on video here. But the main thing I was doing, you know, I was keeping myself buffed up. I was using my lesser shielding, my um, grim aura, which gives myself strength. Uh, the plague rats do give you some sort of rabies or disease or something. I think it slows down your maybe your health regen or something. Um, I was mostly using my ward undead. That's the, the good spell that necromancers have that uh, help them um, really wreck uh, undead. And I also have a spell called, um, what's it called? I forget what it's called, but it lulls. See, right there, he started attacking it right away. That's what, that's what I was going for. So if anybody had come into that door, um, I'm killing this thing as soon as it pops, so nobody else has a chance to touch it. Uh, and that thing is blue, which is good. We want. I wish every single uh, spot point that I had camped here was blue, but... Yeah, I don't even know if it's going to show the level. That's crazy. That's not cool. I thought I really, I really did think I should, showed myself leveling here. I don't know what happened to my recording, y'all. Because I definitely got to 10 and uh, recorded it. I don't know. I'm still figuring this stuff out. But I think I'm actually almost done here. Uh, there was that, that skeleton pops. There's uh, like three plague rats that pop in the main hallway. Another... Skeleton pops by the table at the end of this little hallway, and then um, there's like three necromancers that pop in the one room, and like two plague rats that pop in the other room. And that's basically what I was camping. Some of them are green, but they still give experience. The putrid skeletons are blue. I was holding them down. Those are the main things I wanted, main things I was going for. Um, yeah, so we'll be back here next time. Uh, hopefully killing some more, maybe getting a group. Maybe we'll do the orc camps, though. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, comment below. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next time.
uh, probably tomorrow. I've been doing these videos every day. Hope you enjoy it. Peace.